Tajitia unajisi Chakula cha ufame Na sita uzauri
endelea na hiyo wimbo na ningetaka kuchukua fursa hii kuwakaribisha wote kwenye imbanda hii ya wafu na tutaendelea na nitauliza wenye, wanya, wenye kwaya watu uongoze kwa hiyo wimbo ndio tuweze kuendelea na ibada
na no mwathani wa heanire Mevin Jeroge Murage na no mwathani wa heanire Jed Kamunya Murithi ritwa ria mwathani rirogo ocho gukenari ni ari amena kieha ni gukorwo ni makani ni rokieha na tuketi ili tuombe Baba wetu wewe urie binguni tunakusifu na kulisujudu jina lako adhuri ya siku ya leo siku ya leo mwana wetu tumekusanyika mahali hapa ili tuwe na ibada maalum ya kuwakumbuka hawa watoto wetu ambao umewaita wakapumzike pumziko la mwisho Tuasema ni asante ni kwa sababu kila jambo ambalo unalolitenda unatuambia ya kwamba tukushukuru kwa sababu wewe uko na sababu ambao ni sababu ya muhimu katika mambo yote ambayo yanatendeka. Tuasema ni asante kwa wakati huu umetukusanyisha mahari hapa familia zote mtatu kanisa marafiki wale ambao walikuwa wanafanya kazi na kusoma na hawa watoto tunasema Mungu endelee kuwabariki na kuatia nguvu na ili tunapoendelea kuhuzunika tuhuzunike kama watu ambao wanakuamini twajituika mikononi mwako Mungu tukiomba Bwana uendelee kutufariji na haswa familia ya waenda zao na uendelee kuwabariki na kuwatenda mema haya ni mambo, maombi yetu ya imani na ni katika jina la baba la mwana na la roho mtakatifu tumeomba amen wakati huu tutasomewa the resurrection word by elder george kahira Tibero Kristoniari Oketio akoima kuria ku agagituika mutorio wa mbere wa andu aria makomete amukuona ati ni mundu watumire gukigiku oguo ninge mundu no mundu watumire kuriuka kwa andu aria ku guke onakuo ni gukoro otauria andu othe makuaga ni undu wa adamu otauguo othe magacokio muyo ni undu wa Kristo Aliwa ide bitu uria guga ni atire nyamana thakame tigihota kugaya uthamaki wa ngai kana kufutha uhote kugaya uria utare wa kufutha atirire gumwira adu aria tutoire hithoine atirire tutiga ko maidu othe no kugaruru tukagaruru idu othe uria tuhana o kahido kanini otakari ari thore fushagia na riria karubeta kahigo ya kurigiriria gakagaba ni undu karubeta ni gakagaba na wadu ale aku mari okio matare ya gucoka kufutha na ithwe tugaruruo oria tuhana hideyo niyo horo wa wa guka hideyo niguo hideyo niguo uhoro ugakinya uria wandikitwe o gikuo ni kungalio kingaritio ngagitorio fio we gikuo gikiri utorania gwaku gukiriha e we gikuo gikiri rufora rwaku rukiriha Rufora rwa rwa gikuona ni ruo wihia niguo hinya wa wihia umanaga na watho na riri ngai aroga tho ariwe utumaga tutorie na na tutoranie ni undu wa mwathani witu Jesu Kristo hakiri uguo ariyo afafa ari anyendete muno ri ikaragai mweru 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 metie mutegugithengeka na muture higo sio the murutaga wira wa mwathani muta na mu, na mugake kirereria ni undu ni kumenya ati wira uri mwinogagia na guti watu ho mukiurutaga munyitanite na mwathani mwathani abarabi ni shigo shiake amen uh, uh, santi sana elda kwa kutusomea neno la mungu wakati huu tungetaka wale ambao wanaingia wasetu na pia tujiandae kwa wale ambao wanatusomea eulogies 
eulogists wale watasoma eulogy na tutaanza na master melvin joroge from uh, eh, wakijianda nitaomba chairman wa kanisa atukaribishe atu mahara hapa na ashas nao waelekeze watu wakae chini ndio tusetu ndio tukiendelea na ibanda chairman karibu Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe. Uh, my name is Onesmus Mangu Kamura. I am saved. I love Lord Jesus Christ as my personal savior. Uh, this moment uh, I want to welcome all of you for having been here so that we can celebrate the lives of our three uh, children, our members, Jed Kamunya, Melvin Joroge, and Jaden Kiarie, uh, Zayden Kiarie. Uh, we would want to bring forward our condolences on behalf of the whole church because this has really saddened the church as a whole. For I would also want to say it clearly that we, we have not had this kind of uh, memorial service. It is normally one per person, but today it is a different one and a unique one. But God knows the reason why because there is nothing that comes behind God. So ours is to accept it and continue to have faith in God. And at this moment, I want to comfort the families of the three children that God will be with you and you will see God. At any given one time that you think of the lost loved one, God is there for you. And so because of the interest of time, once again I want to welcome each one of you. We have, you know, we have uh, uh, St. Mary's pupils and even their teachers and the principal, I understand they are there. So feel welcome. The family of the last feel welcome at this place so that we can have uh, this ceremony together and God will bless us. All that you have come, may God bless you. I would want to know if we have a church elder from PCA, not necessarily from Zimmerman, but if you are there, we may want to recognize you. Do we have a PCA church elder? Okay, seems that we don't have. This moment, I want to recognize the church elders who are within our presence, and I would kindly request them to stand. And by the time the others will be sitting down, kindly the elder district of the affected district uh, don't sit down. So kindly, elders stand. There are many of them from PCA Zimmerman, so I uh, feel that uh, we are very much together with you and the other members of the congregation, they are still with us inside there. And uh, we are saddened, uh, all of us, and we are grieving together with you. So may God bless you. Thank you very much, elders. Wale ambao, wenye wame afektiwa, we have uh, Elder Susan Kirika, who your, your, she is the shepherd of, uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, Susan Wajiro Muleidi, she shepherds the family of Jed Kamunya, she's there. And uh, we have Elder Carlo Nyamu, shepherds the family of Melvin Joroge, sit down. And then lastly, we have Elder James Boro, 
he shepherds the family of uh, Zaiden Kiari Mbogwa. Thank you very much, Elder. So, uh, if uh, uh, any would uh, want to be assisted, um, if uh, you would want uh, to go and assist yourself, we have washrooms just across the road, just across the road. We have washrooms there. If you go there, you will be guided. Thank you very much. We have our ushers with us today. Thank you very much, our choir, for being with us so that we can comfort with these families. May God bless you as we continue. We want to appreciate God for the far we have come. And uh, today we, we, also, uh, we are also saddened, and uh, even as a church, but God is our comforter. Even as he comforts the family, he is also comforting us. And together, we are together even on this, and the Lord is going to give us the comfort that can only come from him. At this time, we want to welcome those who are reading the eulogies uh, for Master Melvin Kaindre. Ule ambaya natusomea ya Master Melvin. Nani anatusomea ya Master Melvin? Aya, wakijianda tutaendelea kwa Jed kama wajed wako wako tayari atusomee hawa ni nani anasoma wa master melvin haya jed ningetaka tujiadae na ndio nilikuwa nimesema kwa hivyo pia zaiden pia wajiadae Dio tuweze kusoma uh, tujiadae. Tujiadae na, na, na ule anasoma eulogy, wale wanasoma tributes, wajiadae. Dio tuweze kuenda systematically. Tafadhali. Please, Lord. Somebody told me that I was going to go. 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 January 2012. I was going to go. 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 I was going Gidomo yake. Ashari, ake ni madha mire mushi wa Nairobi, kurea abelide shukuru, kurea abelide shukuru. Ado meire kona Stone Academy, na Lidza Academy, ni asho kire agide shukuru wa St. Mary, luwaraka grade 4. Kanitha, jeli kamu ni ato waliru wa kanitha ni ashari yake, Na kifati dio ni Leverett Edward Muriogi, mweri 20, December 2023, na remuru mireli wa Sadi School ya PCA Zima Mang Church, na alale na kio, duwari yake. Kuri mweri 16, wagata to, 2024, ni okirile ota mutugo, na agithi shukuru madha madha inyo. Na, nye, na madhi ile kufaka mufira kiharo na eli ile alata ake ati ni ala igua kukunoga. Ohedeo ake gua na getagi kiru ake huruka. Ni mwadha ni wahea ni leje. Nui wa musho kirena. Yetu wale mwadha ni rohosho.
ya dini ya Anglican. Ario de Marado, my tribute to Asia Jed, that is Dad, Mom, Michelle, and Felix, and Shoes. Kindly, 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 okay, to the the tributes. It was the two mire, area, while a water one asoma, the tributes, Mujipe Moyo. To end the pale, to some, and uh, the Lord is going to give you the strength and the comfort. The same case applies kwa wale the other families, to jiandae, pia, to taenderea na mnaio, for, for Master Melvin and also Zayden, to tajiada, lakini tukimalizana na hii. Praise God. We are going to read the tribute of Jade from her mother. My beloved Jade, words cannot capture the depth of sorrow and love that fills my heart. As I write this tribute to you, from the moment you entered my life, you brought an abundance of joy, laughter, and love that illuminated our world like a radiant star. Your presence was a blessing, and your absence has left an, edible, an inedible void that can never be filled. I remember the day you were born, tiny and fragile, yet so full of promise and potential. As you grew, your curi curious mind and compassionate heart blossomed into a beautiful soul that touched the lives of everyone around you. Your laughter was music to my ears, your hugs a source of comfort, and your dreams attest a testament, a testament to your abundant, boundless spirit. Your kindness knew no bonds. You had a way of seeing the good in people, of offering a helping hand without hesitation, and of spreading love and positivity wherever you went. You, your courage in the face of challenges inspired me, and your resilience taught me the true meaning of strength. As I reflect on the memories we created, I am filled with gratitude for the time we had together. Every smile, every tear, every shared trump or disappointment, all are treasured in the depths of my soul. Your life may have been brief, but its impact is everlasting. My dear Jade, as I navigate the journey of grief, I find solace in knowing that you are at peace, free from pain and suffering. Your spirit lives on in the hearts of those who loved you, and your legacy will continue to inspire, to inspire kindness, empathy, and love in this world. Though I cannot hold you in my arms, I carry you with me always, in my thoughts, in my dreams, and in every beat of my heart. Until we are reunited in eternity, know that you are deeply loved and profoundly missed. Rest in peace, my precious Jude, with all my love, Mom. Good afternoon, church. I will uh, read the tribute on behalf of Dad. My dearest son, as I sit here, surrounded by memories of you, my heart weighs heavy with the pain of your absence, yet swells with the love and pride I feel for the incredible young man you were. From the moment you came into this world, you brought a light and warmth that filled our, ho our home and hearts with boundless joy. Your laughter was infectious, your curiosity endless, and your kindness unparalleled. You had a way of making everyone feel special, of seeing the beauty in every person, 
and every moment. Your gentle spirit and compassionate heart touched lives in ways you may never fully know. You shared so many, we shared so many precious moments together, playing games, sharing stories, exploring the world around us, and dreaming of the future. Your dreams were my dreams, and watching you chase them with determination and courage filled me with pride beyond words. You faced challenges with resilience and grace, teaching me the true meaning of strength and perseverance. Your love for life, your unwavering optimism, and your ability to find joy in the simplest of things were a constant source of inspiration. Although you are no longer here with us, your spirit lives on in the memories we hold dear. Your legacy of love, kindness, and compassion continues to shine brightly, lighting our way through the darkness of grief. My dear son, you may have left the world, you may have left this world too soon, but the impact you made and the love you shared will never fade. I carry you with me, I, I, I carry you with me always, in my heart, in my thoughts, and in every breath I take. Until we meet again, know that you are loved beyond measure and missed more than words can express. Rest in peace, my precious boy, with all my love, Dad. Good afternoon, um, the sister to Jed, and this is my tribute. Farewell, my dearest brother. The void that you have left can never be filled by anything, for you are my best friend, crime mate, advisor, joker, cameraman, and most importantly, my motivation. I promise to work hard so as to fulfill your dreams and ambitions, even as I let you go to your creator, I promise to keep you locked in my heart. The memories we have shared from fighting for the remote and many other fun factors, such as comparing our height and other things. I always, I always lost our bets, but it's okay, cause seeing you smile as you win was always the best thing ever. I will miss you so much, but I know you, would, you wouldn't want to see me sad, so I will stay strong. May you rest in peace. Farewell, JD boy. Good afternoon, church. I'm going to read on behalf of uh, the grandmother, Catherine uh, Wanjiro. Farewell, my grandson. You are and will always be important to me. You are my best friend, prayer partner, source of joy. You always had great plans. You are a very ambitious kid, hardworking, prayerful, joyous. You always looked at the brighter side of everything. Your smile always brightened my day. Your every good night shall always be uh, cherished. You are strength. During week time, we laughed and cried together. I always knew that you would have a bright future, but sadly it, it got cut short, but God has his reasons for taking you. <clears throat> May you rest in peace and always watch over me. I will always love and cherish you. Our memories together. Goodbye, my grandson. Yeah, well, my brother. Uh, this is the tribute from uh, Gary. Farewell, my dearest brother. The void that you have left can never be filled by anything. For you are my best friend, crime mate, advisor, joker, cameraman, and most importantly, my motivation. I promise to work hard so as to fulfill your dreams and ambition. Even as I let you go to our creator, I promise to keep you locked in my heart. 
the memories we have shared from fighting for the remote and mainly other fun factors such as com comparing our height and other things. I always lost our best, but it's okay because seeing you smile as you win was always the best thing ever. I'll miss you so much, but I know I wouldn't want to see, you didn't want to see me sad, so I will stay strong. May you rest in peace. Farewell, the Jedi boy, Felix. Thank you. We now want to call upon the the one leading for Master Melvin. And thereafter we tuta tuta soma, tutaenda vile eulogy kwanza, then to endele na tributes. Tutasomewa eulogy kwanza, then the tributes from parent, dad and auntie. Good afternoon, church. And the soma eulogy ya Melvin Joroge Mwangi. Ruganorwa Melvin Joroge Murage Murage. Gushiaro Melvin Joroge Murage. Ashari Romori, 25, Wenana, 2023. Itora Ineria Kiriko, Gashuero sublocation. Rogoro. Rogoro location, Madera West sub, sub, sub county, Nyeri county. Emwa na wakere wa Justus Morage na Hana Nyabura. Mashiara na iru na Luya Murioki Morage. Nika gukaga Efantas Murioki Morage na mutiga ire Pita Joroge. Na gasosoka Lady Awabo i Murioki na Margaret Wajiko Joroge. Kurero, Melvin Joroge Morage, Arari Mwana Mukeni, na Mwediadu. Kanitha, Melvin Joroge Morage, ni atu wariru kanitha wa PCA, zima mana irofi kuria asiari ake madhiaga. Doari nage kuge ake. Melvin Joroge Morage, araturete enakogi mamuaga, wamuere kumagoshi arogo ake. Oginyagia mweri 20. Weta 2024. Dere anyi itiruwa nedo waria na ihenya. Melvin Jorage. Mwurage. Ni ahudo kiri odifitare. Nwa milele. Korea ahuroke. Ahuro kiri yone muadhani. Agetage kero waneda getare. Ara ahuro kire ena okoro wa mweri mugu waja. Na atiga ashiari ake. Na moro anyi na Liam. Ne muadha ni wa hea nire Melvin. Na noe wa amusha okira. Ituare ya kire logoshu. Tribute from parents. From heaven he was delivered as a baby unto you. When God said to me softly, I'm trusting you to do everything that's needed to nurture and to love. He is your little angel sent from above. You see, spirits cannot be held, hugged, or kissed. The body that was his vessel is what you will surely miss, but his spirit that we shared with you on that one special day, that is what we promise to never take away. Rest in peace, Sam. Tribute from Auntie. No words I write could ever say. How sad and empty I feel today. 
the angels came for you much sooner than I planned. I'll brave the bitter grief that comes, and I'll try my best understood. Why did you have to go away? Why wasn't it right for you to stay? In my heart will always be. When the announcement came that we have a nephew, it was joy, and as time went, on the love for you grew even more. We had much hope on you, but seems you had to stay where the angels live, that is in heaven. Rest in peace, my daughter. <coughs> Tribute from cousins. We don't know how to come to terms with the fact that you are gone. We still look at all of the photos we took you on Snapchat and everything. <laughs> photos we took you on Snapchat and anything on social media. We can find just a reminder of you. We still wonder what we will do now that you are no here. You are not here. I still find myself endlessly wondering why you had to leave us so soon. So, where do we even begin? We had a lot of hope on you as we watch you grow and believe that one day you will grow and we have time to play together. We don't have enough words to express our grief. But we just say goodbye. <laughs> Till we meet again, goodbye, Cassie. <laughs> Mungu wazidi kwa fariji. Naomba ya kwamba nayo familia ya Jaden wakaribie. Ndiyo waweze kusoma pia the eulogy na pia tributes. Praise God. Eulogy for the late Jaden Kerry Mbugwa. Bath. The late Zayden Mbugwa was born on the 6th, the month of 10, 2022, at Gidorai 44 by his loving parent Patrick Mbugwa Modoni and Ridia Karemi Mbugwa. was a loving brother to Stacy Gian Nyawera, childhood. Zayden Kari Mbugwa was brought up by his parents with love until his dismiss. He was loved by his sister Stacy Georgian Nyawera, his uncle James I. Isaac, Mwendia, James, Brian, Lewis, Dennis, Travis, Mali, Carson, Terence, Adrian, Juan, Lonnie, Austin, Jaden, James, his aunties are Natasha Wanjiko, Dorcas Wamboy, Glorian, Lucy, Eunice, Lena, Vivian, Carol, Ivy, Charlene, Lea, Sharon Harriet, his cousin is Eris Kari Ken Nyawera. His grandmothers are Anastasia Modoni, Phyllis Wawera, mother, Irene Virginia, Elizabeth Teresia, Sarah. Grandfathers are James Kerry, Duncan Gishoro, David Bundy, Stephen Kidaka, Maitoru Sewajiko, Margaret Wamboy, Church. The late Zayden Kerry Mbogo was a member of PCA Zimmerman Church. Illness. Late Zayden Kerry Mbogo started having health complications on date 18, the month of 12, 2023, and was rushed to Kiambu River 5 Hospital where he was admitted for five days. After being discharged from hospital, he was taken from home and had good health until date 13, the third month, 2024. When he got ill again and was rushed to Kiambu Level 5 Hospital and was admitted for one week. Death. The rate Zayden Kerry Mbogo went to be with the Lord on Monday, date 18, 
the third month, 2024, at 8.30 p.m. while being attended to by the doctors. The rate Zayden Kerry was there at the age of one year and five months. God gave us days God gave us Zayden Kerry and has taken him. Glory be to God. Amen. He has left us behind his dad, mom, and sister. Me as even me as an uncle. We as the family of Zayden Kerry give thanks to God for the time he lived. In the book of Second Timothy. For seven to eight, I have fought the God fight and I have finished the rest. I have kept the faith. Amen. Evening. Mimi ndio Baba Zaide. Tazoma tribute. My precious boy. Now gone too soon, your brief life, he can ink and all that like my world before being snuffed, leaving me in darkness and grief. I cling to the memories like lines, your sweet smile, your joyful laugh, etched on my heart forever, filling the vacuum of loss. My handsome son, though far from sight, your spirit lives within my sorrow, turning great bitter cup to wine, reminding me love is stronger than death. Life legacy matters more than the length of days. So I'll call it your memory always, my boy, letting your brief light continue shining with me, guiding me home, lest in power my boy. For mother to Zayden, I am a very close sister to her. And I will lead. From the moment I knew you were to be born, I was overjoyed. My heart was filled with anticipation and love. I'm grateful for all my memories and every moment we shared. You confided your hope and dreams in me. I will miss showing you funny cartoons your hugs, our kid talk, but most of all, I'll miss your little hearts holding me. They were forever planted in my heart. My physical time with you is over now. So, son, you put those hearts that I held for that year until I came, until I can hold you again. And tell God thank you for me and tell him how grateful, lucky, and privileged I feel that he chose me to be your mom. And I hope I made him proud. And I will help guide those, guide those who left behind until we are called up to be with you. I hold you with my whole entire heart. Rest in peace, my child. Praise God. I read the tribute from the sister. You are my best friend, and you left me alone in this world. I will cherish all your memories forever, my brother. You taught me how important family is. You will always hold a special place in my heart, dear brother. May your soul find solace in the arms of the angels as you embark on your journey to eternity, dear brother. So you may go on from this world, but your spirit will forever shine brightly in our memories. As I bid you farewell, I take solace in the knowledge that your spirit lives on, in the people you love, in, in the lives you touched, and in the beautiful tapestry of, of memories that were created together. Asanteni sana, mungu azidi kuwapa nguvu na tukiendelea. Uh, kwa wakati huu ningetaka kupea shule, the tribute from the school, ile itasomwa kuna ya P. 
piu piu na pia ya the school tafadhali karibuni ndio tuendelee Tribute to our beloved classmate, Jed Kamuya. It is with deep sorrow that we as the classmates, schoolmates, and friends of Jed Kamuya mourn this untimely death. Jed was a highly disciplined and a God-fearing learner. His angelic voice used to lead us in praise and worship during PPI lesson. He was a friend to many, always trustworthy, selfless, loyal and dependable among others. He kept a smile on the faces of those who are down and his kindness will forever be redeemed among us. Jed displays a, a great sense of humor. His prowess and creativity made us laugh our lungs out. I vividly recall he once said that he discovered a word of however ugly it was. This made us shed tears of joy as a class. He was hardworking and focused both in class and outside. His greatest dream was to become a footballer and a businessman. We, lo we, have, a lost a f we have lost a friend, team player, and a backbone of our class 6Y. Jed, we love you, but God loved you more. Your spirit of industriousness, kindness, and focus will forever live within us. Dance in the angels, our dear brother Jed. May your soul rest in eternal peace. God is good, and all the time, on behalf of the teaching and non-teaching staff of St. Mary's Waraka, I would read the tribute in loving memory of Jed Kamunya. Today, we gather with heavy hearts in honor of our dear Jed Kamunya. Jed was more than just a student to us. He was a cherished member of our school community, a shining example of discipline, hard work, and academic prowess. Jed's presence in our school was appreciated by all who came across him. He approached every task with dedication and enthusiasm, leaving an indelible mark on those around him. His academic achievements were a testament to his intelligence and diligence, inspiring both teachers and peers alike. Yet, it wasn't just Jed's academic excellence that endeared him to us. It was his infectious sense of humor, his ability to bring laughter, to any situation. His joyful spirit lifted our hearts and made our school a bright place. As we bid farewell to Jed, we hold on to the memories we shared, the laughter, the lessons learned, the moments of friendship. Jed, may you find peace and joy in the company of angels in heaven. Fare thee well, Jed. At this moment, I would want to call the, the church school, church school to present the tribute, the tribute from the head office. Good evening. Praise God. My name is Robert Kinyo. I'm blessed and saved this evening. I would like to read the tribute from head office. Words may never be enough to console the family of our beloved ones. It is with joy we receive them into this world and into our arms. We eagerly waited to see what they would grow up to be. Like, they would, like Jed, they would have attended church school with commitment and joy. Loss and death 
open a box of sorrow, mourning, and grieving which every humanity tries to run away from. Acknowledging this, acknowledging that it is not possible and death is necessary, we are left with no option but to brace ourselves as gentlemen and women and face the reality. It is with this realization that my family and I, the entire fraternity of the Children Ministry in PCA head office, take the humble opportunity to pray for God's grace to rest upon the, upon the parents of Jen Kamuya Muraidi, Melvin Joroge, and Zaiden Karioki, the family members, relatives, and friends, together with all children ministers and children of PCA Zimmerman Parish, Nairobi North Presbytery. May you receive the encouragement from the word of God in Joshua chapter 1, verse 9, which reads, Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. May you have quick resilience and not let your heart be troubled. You believe in God. And that comes from John chapter 14, verse 1. Wish you God's blessings. You as in church service, Reverend Peter K. Derito. Thank you. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Wakati huu tutaenda kwa presentations ndio tuweze kufariji one another na kwa hivyo for the interest of time Bethany and Bethlehem mtaiba wimbo moja pamoja kwa hivyo Bethany na Bethlehem uh, mfanye korabo kujeni kujeni Bethany na Bethlehem tutaimba wimbo moja nao watoto wa church school watakuwa wakijiandaa na walimu wa church school na pia St Mary's school Jesu ne gegaga ne wenda shiwaku ogete kero wera ona itane kene keke
Makofi wanapo keti watoto wetu wa church school watoto wa church school watoto wa church school tufanye haraka tufanye haraka wakimaliza walimu wao walimu wao wata present Sentimeri tujiandae Asante sana. Hata walimu nimefurahi kuwaona wote tumeweza kupresent pamoja na watoto tukubari kwa sababu ya wakati. Asante ni sana tuwapigie makofi pamoja na walimu. Sentimeris, sentimeris. Kaindre. 
wakimaliza tutafugiwa na kwaya ndio tumalize presentations Good morning, church. Uh, praise God, church. Praise God once more. In the midst and uncertainty and grief, remember God is actively working it out. Stay encouraged, knowing that God is in control and he'll truly work it out. Thank you. Before I knew my name, before I drew you up, he was making ways for me. Now and every day, in each and every step, He is making ways for me. When my heart was full of doubt, feels like faith is running out.
kweda go mushokeri yagatho inyothe ari ama present na ari a ma koro magi present na ari ama gakanya muniwi eradhi kwa sababu ya wakati wakati huu ningetaka kuita uh, elder harrison kwa sababu ya scripture reading Bwana asifiwe. Uh, our readings uh, come from the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 13 from verse 11 to 14. 2 Corinthians 13, 11 to 14. Finally, brothers, goodbye. Aim for perfection. Listen to my appeal. Be of one mind live in peace and the god of love and peace will be with you greet one another with a holy kiss all the saints send their greetings may the grace of the lord jesus christ and the love of god 
and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Thank you. Bwana usehemu yangu rafiki yangu wewe ndio tuweze kujiadaa tusikie neno la Bwana Baba wetu ishie milele Kwa sema ni asanti kwa nafasi hii ambapo umetupe Ili tuje na tushirikiane pamoja kwenye ibada ya siku ya leo Kwa kuomba mungu tunaposikia neno lako Utunene na utuongeleshe Na ili lile jambo ambalo unataka tulishike na tuliti tuwe tumelishika na kwa hakika tutatii kadri ya mapenzi yako na basi twajiweka mikononi mwako na roho wako mtakatifu awe nasi na ni katika jina la Yesu tumeomba na hata kuamini amen na tuketi bwana sifiwe praise the lord ya yeah, ni nataka kusema jina langu ni pita gitao nimeokoka Yesu ni bwana wa maisha yangu amenilisha na kunilinda na ninamshukuru kwa sababu amekuwa Mungu mwema Siku ya leo kama kanisa ya PC Zimmerman tunahuzunika sana ni kwa sababu ya hawa watoto wetu kutuacha na kama vile ilisemekana ni ya kwamba hatujawahi kuwa na ibada ya memorial ya watu watatu hatujawahi kamwe but it has uh, it has forced us to have this because we 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 had no other option and normally for those of you who are not um wazimaman any time our member passes on a full member passes on it is our tradition to have a memorial service for that person because sometimes somebody may not be able to have an opportunity to go and uh, for the female funeral and therefore we normally have uh, memorial services anytime our member passes on and that is why we have this memorial service and it is too unfortunate that uh, the three children passed on almost at the same time within that short period of time. 
But one thing we know is that um, whatever happens to us, whatever happens to you or for, to anybody, it happens with a reason. We may not know the reason as to why this has happened. We've tried to pray about this, Mungwa to Livirie, what is happening, but we know that there could be a reason for this. I want to bring our condolences to the families of the deceased children, and we want to tell them that um, the Lord is still with you, and he's going to be with you even after this. And even as a church, kama church is kuvire wako, na sisi kama kanisa, tuna omboleza pia. Na kwenye ibada ambao ilipita mchana, tuliombea hili jambo sana, na tukaomba na tukauliza Mungu atusaidie na asaidie familia ili wasiendelee wakiwapoteza watoto wao the premature deaths we 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 refuse this and we are very passionate about that that we will not be having premature deaths praise the name of the lord and i want to share briefly with you from where we read the book of 2 Chronicles chapter 13 and verse 11 to 13 to 14. And these were the very, very last words that Paul wrote to the church in Corinth. And this church in Corinth suffered quite a number of things. And they were in questions. Warikuwa nauliza maswari mengi sana. Na kuna mambo ya alikuwa ya natendeka, ambapo pia Paul ye mwenyewe hakuwa na suruhisho ila tu awaandikia na kuwa himiza na kuwa encourage ili waendele kwa imani. Na kwa hivyo hapa tunasoma aya ya sula ya kuminatatu. It is the third time that Paul is talking about this will be my very third visit to you and every matter must be established by this testimony or two or three witnesses and so paul if you read the previous chapters you will find paul addressing and discussing very pertinent issues and one of the things that um, Paul was aware about this church is that the Corinth church or the church in Corinthian had really struggled and demonstrated their struggle because this church was in a center of a cosmopolitan city. And therefore it was very, very hard for the church or for the, 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 the saints or for the believers to live as Christians at the same time to live in the city. It was very, very difficult for them to live in Corinth and to live as a Christian. And so Paul was trying to address some of these issues and he was trying to add, uh, encourage them that it is possible to do that. And if you read chapter 13 and... Uh, uh, verse 4 it says for to be sure he was crucified in weakness yet he lives by God's power so he was trying to tell them as much as it is difficult for you to live in this city it is not your effort but it was God's power that will help you to live in that and he says likewise we are weak in him, yet God's power, we will live with him in dealing with you. So, he was just trying to encourage and to tell them, yes, they are weak, but it is God's power that we will live with them. For the deceased families, I know a time like this, you are very weak. You are very weak because of your loved one having gone 
And since most of us have experienced these kind of things, when any person goes, our relatives goes, everybody becomes weak. And, 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 and we don't have a lot of strength. But I came to remind you that it is God's power that we will live with you so that you can be able to live more days and more days. Praise the name of the Lord. The second thing that Paul is addressing, he is talking about the Corinthian church. They really encouraged Paul in another way. And Paul had grown in love and in faith because of them. Because he could see the persecution. Because he could see how troubled they were. And how other people were even trying to even despise them. And so Paul was still encouraged by the Corinth church. At the same time, I know the departure of these children and I could follow the, the tributes and, the, and mostly the tributes. I could feel that most of those tributes were saying that we are so encouraged by you having come to the world, the way you laugh, the way you smile, the way you did your things. The family was really encouraged. And so Paul was still going through the same kind of a thing just as you are going through the same kind of a thing. But now in verse 11, Paul says, finally, brothers and sisters, rejoice. That is the first thing that he's talking about. He is talking about rejoice in the midst of those troubles, in the midst of those problems, in the midst of whatever they were going through. Paul was telling them to rejoice and strive for full restoration. And he says something that I want to highlight to you, that encourage one another. I came to tell you, you must encourage one another. We must encourage one another. Yes, we have the children gone. We have this problem. But we must keep on encouraging one another. And one of the ways of encouraging you, especially the parents who've been left by these children, is to tell you this is not the end. I know quite a number of you have other children and God would give you other more children if you so desire. Encourage one another and tell, say to one another that it is not that you have done anything wrong to warrant this, but it, has desire, it is in the desire of God because there is nobody who can take the life of the other, no one apart from God himself. And then he says, be of one mind. Then live in peace. And God's love and peace will be with you. We came to declare to you and to tell you that the peace of God, that peace that surpasses every human understanding, will be with you because you are not drawing your strength from anybody. You are not drawing your strength from anything. You are drawing your strength from the Lord. And that peace God will give you. Because he is the Prince of Peace. And that is where now he concludes. And he says, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you. I know God will give you enough grace to go through this. I know God's grace is sufficient for each and every one of us. In a time like this, the grace of God is very, very sufficient. Even as we experience whatever is ahead of us, all I know is that the grace of God, that grace of God will help you and will be with you even as we ca you come into terms with what has, has happened. I want to remind you three things. Number one, I want to remind you 
that God is behind every beginning and he brings everything to an end. God is behind every beginning. When these children were born, it, it was God who brought them into this world. And when it came for their time to depart, it is him who has caused this or who has taken their lives. Na wakati mwingine ninaonanga ya kwamba siku yenye tutaenda heaven, I'm imagining if you go to heaven without children. Just imagine, you know, we say that uh, what you see in the physical is in the, in the spiritual. In, have, in, uh, in the world, this world, if we don't have these children, parents, life can be very difficult, isn't it? Muturena ukoro we mulito muno, muno, muno. Na no wage gikeno, na ni oyeresha na shire hange gikeno. And so I try to imagine it is not written there but I try to imagine to gigandhi igoro na gukorwa gutire ciana probably life ya hata ugakorwa is very difficult And probably that is some of the reasons why God at times takes children because children are nege keno gito makorwa go mege keno gito And I don't want to bring like ate gaini agekete ate wega ni guweko guo tondu ngigwa guo ringi family no maigwe taitara uga wega ai but i'm saying to gigathi mushi wa iguru na to kore gutire ciana ni juwe muturire ucio wa ta ugakorwo wi muritu muno tondu ciana ni gikeno gia ciari na kwondo ucio gaini wa wabagiriria muoyo wothe he is the beginning of everything in this world. And especially when it comes to life. And at the same time, The second thing I want you to realize is that God is present when certain chapters of life close. Equally, God is present when another chapter opens. The chapter of these children among us, that chapter has been closed. God is present in that chapter. At the same time, he is very present when he is opening a new chapter, when we are going to another chapter, totale na shia naishi, gayoshio nowe, ohiguraga chapter. Beloved, the Bible says in uh, Psalms 46 and verse number 1, that he is, God is the ever-present help in terms of need. With the ever-present. ever-present help. Oh, he goes to the every time his present help is available in us. When we call upon him, when we cry to him, his ever present help is with us and dwells with us. Family members of Jed, Marvin, and Zayden, when you cry to this God, he is the ever present help in times of your need. And this is a time of need. This is a time when you need comfort from people. This is a time of need when you need somebody close to you. When you are, you are, you are, you are sorrowful, you need that present help. God is the ever-present help in times of need. He has a help for you. And therefore, friends, remember your ever-present help 
is found in God. The Bible says that where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord. I will look up unto the mountain where my help comes from. Na kuwa sio tithe yao itoreke idemo ere. Families, the church is the church. Let me tell you, our help will not come from anybody. Our help will come from God himself. He knows what the, the ailing part. He knows how you're feeling. He knows like, that like you don't have a lot of strength. He knows you are so weak, you cannot stand. No wonder that is why some of them were trying to read tributes and they could not because they are so weak. But he is the ever-present help in times of this, in, in this time. Praise the name of the Lord. Oshio newe otaidio wanyu. Newe otaidio witu. Kwa doshio na todoni atoe. He knows our hearts. We may not know other people's hearts, but he knows our heart. And therefore he is our present help in terms of need. And if that is the case then, exercise faithfulness in God. And that is why he is saying, strive for full restoration, encourage one another, be of one mind, live in peace, and the love of God and peace will be with you. In short, what he is saying in that verse, he is advocating and he is asking us and asking all of us to have or to be faithful to him. If we want him to be the ever-present help, if we want to know where our help or to get our help, we must be faithful to him. Don't complain because complain will not sort you out. Families is here, Jade, Melvin, and Zayden. Mutikai no demuaj, mutikai go complain. Don't even ask questions that you know they cannot be answered. Todukwe adua do makinyaga, na makabia kobremu gai. Na makabia kwera gai. We muadani kavota diage to heire, go kero muena muako mue kanami akaere, kana mieri. You know, kwe dia do makinyage ruone temptations, kana mao do tamashio. Don't ask God any question. Nitod ke. Praise the name of the Lord. Parents and the family members, you had tried to take these children to, the, to, to, to hospital and you did all that you could, but it could not happen, whatever you wanted. And that is why I'm saying don't ask God any question because those questions will leave you more hurt and thinking more. Just tell God, I come more than you go near on Guaroni, Nicuagiri, the Negoiganera. Though my, we, my heart is weak, my, 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 my heart is soulful, my mind is so clumsy. Though I'm not able to do many things, I cannot even think the way I'm supposed to think. I cannot do the way, work the way I, I'm, I'm used to working. On Nagone Koremao, Domashio. Were guy, Mwavani, Negoiganera, Ogua won at a goicaleri, like a goicare, to the Gutirio do Togeka. And therefore, my friends, listen to every fresh word from God. Listen to every fresh word from God because God has a word for you. And since He has a word for you, He has a word of encouragement, He has the grace with Him. Which is at your disposal. Na gaino ego to teidia na no eko muteidia, because he is the Almighty God. Niara amenya what you are feeling. We may not know some of us. Even even your husband or your wife or your son or your daughter or your brother or your sister cannot know what you are feeling, but God in heaven knows. Na kodo shio grace yake. Na we do wake we go rianyu. Na kodu shio gaya mura di memono. As you meditate and allow God to speak to you, but above everything else, remember He is the ever present help. 
in such a time like this. In the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I want to call upon the I want to call upon the families of um, the three families Jed, Marvin and Zeden come here tafadhali kujeni tuwaombea tunataka kuwaombea ili hii neema ya Mungu iwazidishie awazidishie So family ya Jed mkai pande hii then the other family of um, Marvin hapa katikati Zayden hapa ili tuombe pamoja nanyi muangalie pande hii na kama vile tumesema that he is the ever present help in times of need this is your time of need and he is the ever present help kutire hede help o utaithio wake ugiaga we hamwe na inywe and then remember to be faithful to him remember his grace is with you and i know gaini aguthie amurathimite rekai to hoy mwathani theini wari to ra jesu christo mahida tamaya mwathani ne mahida maritu muno and especially rimwe lele ya ciana cia tutiga ni tondu meciria maitu ni matuiraga ati ciana ici ni cingia kura na inenehe tuike andu anena ituhe gikeno nowe ithe witu wa matuine ni we mwene muoyo na ni hoto inaga ha uhoro wa muoyo ni wa mwathani Jesu Kristo na ru mwathani kuwa na ni woete ciana ici ngai ni dakuhoya mwathani wetekere kuririkana families ya ciana ici ni marito heirwo ni undu uyu muno ngai ona ni maraigua ki hake ingi muno ona mena maithori ma mwire na magoro na makaigua gua ya muno ona makeyuria ciuria na makona hita mangikorwa mahitetie no undu mwe tuwe ni ati gutiri kuhitia mahitetie ni tondu we ngai undu uyu wikikite wikite wikikite owe ukionaga ni ndirenda kumanea na gua koine gua ku ngai na tondu gutire hinya ugiukirite hinya waku dahoya hinya waku mwathani umaikurukire nigetha umahe thayo nigetha uma comfort mwathani nigetha umagiria maithori ithe witu wa matuine na jehova ni tondu ni wikaga maundu mega maririkane ukamaheaga grace yaku na tondu watwira ati we niwe uteithio wa hakuhi mahinda mothe twahoya riu umahe uteithio uteithio wa ngoro uteithio wa meshiria uteithio wa mere ya otondere na hinya uteithio wa kiria kingi giothe marafatara dahoya umahe thini wa ritwa ya Jesu Kristo ni dama igaguo koini gwa ku ngai na dahoya mwathani ati magithira through this period of mourning of their loved children may your grace be sufficient in their lives lady ni hoya ria we take you in the name of God the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mutigadege hau. Um we I want to the parents of Jed tafadhali kanyangeni hatua moja. Parents of uh, Zayden na parents of um, Marvin because hena chairman kuja. How just there just there hapo chini tu. Yeah hapo tu. Yes um nekorena um these are the condolences eh? and um this is for Zayden this is for Marvin and this is for Jeda is your condolences from the church okay yes mm -hmm. Amen. It's, a, it's, a, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Ah, uh, ni wakati mwema tuende kwa kipindi kingine kuhusu usaidizi 
the support that the church normally gives as we console and grieve with the families we always have support kutoka kwa kanisa and i believe the church has been uh, mourning with you the families um, during the uh, bereavement services fellowships in the evenings and so uh, plus that additional to that the church grieves with you families with a small support uh, and so that is what we would want now to present to the three families and so uh, kindly allow me so we may have uh, the family of jed kamunya kindly Zayden, sorry, Melvin Joroge. Ad Zayden. Thank you very much. May God bless you. So we really want to thank all of you. Inyo the mokire ne do akonyi tanira hamwe na idwe sen melis the 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 pupils and the teachers asante ni sana kwa kuja tu nasema ni asanti kwa wale wote ambao wamekuja for this memorial service. Continue praying for the families and uh, we are together na nitoi gai ne agudi akimwe kaga wega na ne agudi akimohe aga hinya and we believe that God is going to be with you. To see my And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Kwaya tafadhari tuongozeni na wimbo moja waku toka. Oh, don't go. Yeah,